Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys how we can install extra color palettes to Asperite so that you can use them on your pixel art. So first off, I'm going to go find a decent color palette online. So lowspec.com slash palette dash list is a really good resource for finding colors for pixel art. Okay, so Don Bringer 32 colors looks pretty good, so we'll go ahead and download this palette file from here. So as you can see, this site has special formats for Photoshop and GIMP. But inside of Asaprite, we can actually just use PNG image 1x here, which is going to give us a really tiny uh, image file to download. Essentially what this is, is it's just all the colors in a row. So if we zoom in here, we can right click and save this image. So where we're going to want to save this new color palette is going to be wherever we have Asaprite installed and then into the palettes folder. So for me, I have Asaprite on Steam, so I want to go to C drive program files. And then from the Steam directory, we go to Steam Apps, Common, Asaprite, Data, and then into the Palettes folder. So yeah, if you have Asaprite and it's not purchased on Steam, the location might be a little different. But we just save the PNG image into this folder. And now we need to restart Asaprite. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to relaunch it from my computer. So booting that up, we can start a new sprite file very quickly. And let's go to presets over here in the top left to select a color palette. And we should see the Don Bringer 32 over here. So we can just select that and then we can start editing with those colors. Now, if you want to customize your own palette, you can click on the edit color icon over here in the top left, which will unlock the palette. And then we can make changes to the colors by selecting the color we want to change to a different one. And let's just say we did this a bunch. Then we can go over here on the right and choose save palette and then we would save this in exactly the same location so for me that's going to be back in this steam folder steam apps common asaprite data palettes and just put it here with a new name so we can call this custom palette and just save it and then the next time you load up asaprite that custom palette should load up by default so we can see custom palette loaded right here and that's pretty much all there is to adding custom color palettes into Asaprite. So I think Chris, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future content.